And I'm Sarah. And we are back with our next episode of Margot Moments, a series featuring conversations, stories, and insights from our amazing family of Go Girls. And this week we are here with our friend, um, an amazing artist, Angelica. We've known Angelica since the very first days of Margot, so uh, extra special to be with her here today. Hi. Uh, um, where are you dialing in from? I am dialing in from New York, uh, from Union Square. I guess I, I work freelance from home, so I'm quite lucky that I'm used to working from home and spending so much time at home. And I'm used to doing arts and crafts at home, like the door you will see behind me that I mm -hmm. painted. And I think that we should do a similar kind of similarly inspired thing today. Angelica's leading us in how to paint your lampshades at home. I stole one from my brother's bedroom, so if he ever watches this, he'll know why his lampshade is zebra striped. I found one in a room that my mom does not go in very often, so I'm hoping she doesn't notice. Well, she might notice when she goes in. But that, one, that one's great as well. well that, one, we come to <laughs> that one's cool because it's flat-ish. Should we go to the list? Yes. So you guys have paints? Yes. Got my paints. And you have brushes. And you have water. Water. And you have like a plate like thing to mix mm -hmm. My mixing plate. Oh, cool. Transparent. Um, and a. Do you have a pencil as well? Oh, um, yes. Yeah. If you're a bit nervous, I do it anyway, always, even when I'm like drawing, when I'm doing illustrations, which I, you know, do do for a living, so I should be quite good at and quite confident, but I still always do pencil first, just because it gives you that, it just gives you, it just makes you feel more confident. Mm -hmm. So where is your lampshade going? Do you have a lampshade? My lampshade is going different corner, because mm -hmm. I want there to be a conversation between the door. Oh, I see. Um, I see. Do you see um, that to the easel? Do you see? Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's because th because then there's going to be a kind of a triangle of zebras because I've also got that lampshade. Amazing. Out. So that zebra over there, zebra over there, and then there'll be a zebra over there. So I think that will be cool. Okay, so put some paint on a plate. My plate is a bit complicated to so black up as well. Um, and then you wanna put your, oh wait, sorry. Actually, we can do this first. Um, uh, should we do the pencil first? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Grab our pencils. Very natural, yes. Look at that cool pencil. Classic. Yeah. I thought, I thought. The chemical one. I just took a photo of my door because I think that I achieved a good zebra print on it in terms of there being enough space and like the scale I think is good but obviously you know it's only the scale of the door as well. But ah! <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> but don't worry because this is just pencil. I mean this is where you'll see how bad I am at painting. So... So I have a question, Angelica. Have you done this before on a lampshade? No. But I think it's um, There's no time like the present. So we're all trying this for the first time together. Oh, that's making me feel that we make it look better than paint. So if I show you guys, I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I've already kind of messed up a bit. So when you mess up, because I've made an angle too much, but when you mess up, just like lean into it. Yeah. I am leaning <laughs> into this. <laughs> I have a question for you. I don't own a paint set, so I bought a paint set for this activity, yeah. but I didn't know the difference between watercolor and gouache and oil and acrylic. So what kind of paint do you recommend we use for this? I bought acrylic, but is that the yes. right thing to use? I recommend acrylic. Alexa, what did you buy? I bought acrylic, and now I'm mixing. 
my colors, a la right. my memories from elementary school art to achieve. <laughs> oh gosh, I spilled on my computer. So also with water, what you want to do is because you don't want it to be too pumpy, but you also don't want it to be too watery. So you just, um, so I guess you, I mean, like you guys probably remember this, but you just take a bit of water, yeah, dip your brush in a bit of water, and then until it achieves a consistency that is like, um, let me try and think of a consistency, um, melted ice cream. Mm. Yeah, I have to say. This is very um, therapeutic as someone who is often intimidated by anything involving paintbrush. So I... That's great to hear. Yeah, um, I can't remember the last time I painted something. I think it might have been when we went to that pottery studio with our team, Alexa. Oh, Sarah's creation turned out unbelievably. Mine became a two-tone mug. <laughs> it was very cubist. It was chic. It was very cubist, <laughs> as are most of my creations. Just because wow! it's Wow! That looks amazing. You guys, it's chubby yours. I need some character in my stripe. No, but yours is, yours is good. So what, what you can I do- I only did one stripe. I'm very slow. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh my God, Sarah. Also, Alexa, you can add the bumps after, okay. Okay. which is what I what we did with the door because that it's kind of easier that way as well because you're doing the skeleton of the stripes and then like right you can always build on it you know okay thank you this is the start <laughs> <laughs> it looks really cool i like the color which thankfully i like because now it's all over my computer but anyway. <laughs> back to my pencil i feel like i need some more guidance but it's coming. Okay. What I think, I can't really see, but what I think you might need is more water mixed with the paint. Because wow. you think the lamp shade is a bit porous? Yes. Okay, so mix more paint with the water. Okay. And then do a thicker blob of paint on top. Okay, on top of my stripes. On to, Well, on top in terms of... Um, sorry, it's stupid. Oh, that is helping. Yeah. Because, because then it absorbs it, but then, so what you'll do is a thinner, like watery on the, look, while well, this, I mean, you can't really see, but that one's more watery. And yep. then I'm gonna do thicker on top to like, you uh, know. Okay. Seal the little bubbles. I don't think I quite got the thin layer right, but. Me. Okay. Well then, look, though, I think you might have a less porous lampshade. Wow. It looks really good. Yeah, Sarah, your book on mine is looking so far. And I wow. think. Wow! Actually, you know what? Weirdly, in real life, it looks better than on the Zoom. I like how thin your stripes are. I feel like I need to thin. No, I want to make my. Well, I don't know. Because you also. Because I think a large part of it is also putting it on the lampshade and then assessing whether you want them to be thicker or. But yours, yours look good. I really like the. Um, the, the detailing, I mean the color. Yeah, the detailing, that's what it is. What the heck? <laughs> I am a one-tone girl on this project. <laughs> oh, you yeah, a lot of blue. It's very, it's modern. What are you doing, sir, Alexa? Um, let's, this is how mine's going. It's looking so much better. I love the blue, I think it's you know, yeah. It's a work in progress, but. Now the question is, are you going to let your brother have this back or are you going to keep it for your He's going to go to bed tonight and look around and be like, Did I? <laughs> 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 Literally, I'd be wearing the same, like, because when I'm painting, like, I'm not going to wear, like, clothes, clothes. But normally, I was just wearing, like, I normally wear the same thing every day and then at night, I'll you know, if I'm going to meet my friend for dinner, I'll like get dressed. And that's like a big thing about it. So obviously now it's weird to like, yeah. I mean, it's weird to everyone and we could all be wearing, you know, except for like, if you're, if I'm, I don't know, I've, 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 I've just got, I've, I'm very messy, I'm very clumsy. I get paint all over everything. Like, so there's no, so there's no point in doing it. So I'm trying though to like wear, like I'll wear a dress sometimes. <laughs> I know, I feel like clothes right now, like punctuate time and like, 
create some sort of structure to my day in terms of what I'm wearing because otherwise not a lot changes in terms of scenery. So uh, clothes and a cocktail. I find that putting shoes on in the morning is my number one productivity trick. What shoes and then today? marking the end of a work day with a glass of wine or a cocktail and just giving myself that permission to slow down is really important. I yeah, I've learned how to make martinis. Sarah, what shoes are you wearing right now? What shoes do you think I'm wearing right now? Your blue GMG mules. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, I need some stripe inspiration. Ooh, that sounds a little better, but I think I need to like maybe bulk them up. I think it's looking really good. What you might want to do is just like give some like little like so they look like they're a bit pregnant, you know? Okay. That's looking really good. Do you see how with added layers, it looks like better and better? Yay! On yours um, okay. is to paint the tops and the bottom. So that's what I was going to ask you. Should we um, paint the trim the color of our stripes, something different? I was thinking maybe something different. Me too. I was kind of thinking a green because I have this notebook that I'm obsessed with that's sort of been serving as my inspiration for oh, my yeah. So I'm thinking maybe you like- Do you have two stripes? No, but I could add more stripes in a different color. Because you could do you could do a pink and then a green. Okay, I'm gonna do that. If you like the notebook, the pink separates the green and the blue. Here's a question. This is my green. Yeah. But if I wanted to get it darker, how do I do that? Do you have black? Mm-hmm. Um, so, 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 sorry, uh, I, I, I had a, a weird email. We're getting really weird emails um, from people. Uh, so, um, so I have the green and the black. Yeah. Not too much black and it will make it a little bit gray. And just to keep it fun and not to like be like, not to be like, oh God, that stripe was wrong. Like, who cares? Isn't that a metaphor for so many yeah, people? People do get scared sometimes though, because of, um, and I get it, like, if you haven't picked up a, like you develop a fear of like paintbrush, pencil, whatever it is, over time. And like if- You do, <laughs> after many months. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I cannot tell you the last time I picked up a paintbrush, it really, I think was a paint your own pottery outing that we did as a team maybe two years ago. You see? But like, it's fine. It's good. You're doing really well. But a large part of that is not being scared. And like literally, what is the worst thing that can happen? <laughs> like, it does get a little easier as you go. Maybe yeah. also my newfound confidence talking but yeah it definitely is because you're because when you're nervous you're shakier as well mm -hmm. and like you're not going to take risks yeah exactly all of these free risks and lampshade painting that we are taking now <laughs> so how is it looking everyone it's looking good i think I'm, I, looking. I'm interested to see how it looks with the light behind it because i might want to well, Angelica, this was so, so much fun. Thank you for leading us in this at-home art project that was so much easier than I would have thought. There's something so satisfying about working with your hands, especially when so many of us are on computers and phones all day. So this has been the best brain break for me. And now I'm a, a proud owner of a paint set, which I'm going to have to come up with an excuse to use. Well, thank you, Angelica. We can't wait to see you when we're all back in New York. Um, in the meantime, we'll send you pictures of our lamps lit up and our sisters up. My hands! <laughs> I know, my white jeans. <laughs> it's cool, yeah. it's, um, well, like, the cool thing is acrylic is like water-based, so you can just, it just comes off. Oh. Yeah, it comes off really easy. All right, well. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. Bye.